<sighs> Breakups are the absolute worst. They suck. You're getting mentally and emotionally ripped from somebody you cared about for an extended period of time, and you're just put into the world all by yourself, not knowing what to do next. Now, I've been through many temporary relationship breakups in my 17 years of living, and I can say that this one that I recently just went through hit very differently. Me and my ex-boyfriend of two years recently broke up almost three weeks ago, and it's crazy to say that these past three weeks have been nothing but a roller coaster. I had days where I slept too much, days where I didn't sleep at all, days where I ate everything in sight and days where I didn't eat anything at all. After the first week of the breakup, I was eventually just getting tired of looking miserable and walking around feeling like I have no purpose in life, so I decided to make this video. Welcome to my post-breakup transformation where I just give myself a complete makeover and do a whole self-care day to make me feel better about everything and anything that is going bad in my life. To treat myself, I decided to give myself a full pamper day filled with bubble baths, shaving my legs and armpits, exfoliating, face masks, makeup, and hair, and of course, you're gonna follow me on this journey so let's go ahead and get started sweet dreams stuck in the 90s 90s babies it's a matter of time wow cinematic gopro shots how original to start my self-care days i love to rub myself a bubble bath using a aromatherapy scent and foaming bath wash that i get from bath and body works and i love to treat myself to shaving my legs and underarms and with a bath bomb from lush because they are the cleanest and greenest at the end of my bath i make sure to moisturize my skin all over so i can feel like the smoothest baby on the planet hello guys i am fully moisturized and hairless for the first time in like a week but it's fine it doesn't matter how long it was i am back in the bathroom and i still look disgusting and like i don't love myself but you know what this baby steps but baby steps to get to your big goal okay i'm in the bathroom because we're about to do two three things first thing we need to do is exfoliate my face because sis is disgusting for that i'm going to shave my face because i haven't shaved my face in so long and then we're going to do a face mask you guessed it i washed my face earlier in the shower using the soap and glory three in one facial wash my skin is looking so rough to the point where i think i'm having an allergic reaction to an expired product i used on accident <laughs> like what the hell what was the point of that i don't know i could always just use a little bit of both right would that be a problem no, I'm not. Mm, well, I'm gonna go on with Lush Dark Angels. We be scrubbing. We be scrubbing. Usually, I would exfoliate using my Vanity Planet brush set that I got from them. I just want to be a little more gentle with this because this is super gentle on my skin. I think that's all the exfoliating I'm going... All the what? I think that's all the exfoliating I'm gonna be doing in this video because my arm is tired. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off and then we're gonna get into shaving my face and how I like to do so. Now that that is rinsed off, it is time to shave my face. And you're probably wondering, Aaliyah, you shave your face and I'm telling you right now, yeah, I do. Cause I noticed ever since I started, it makes a huge difference. Then I'm gonna be using this, I think 30 or 60 pack of face razors I got off Amazon. I'll link them down below. Basically how I shave my face is as follows. I make sure my face is a little damp so I usually just wet a little paper towel and dab along the area that I'm about to shave. And I like to wet the razor a little bit because it kind of just makes me feel better and I feel like it glides a little better. And I do have to do this with glasses on because of the tedious process it is shaving its hair removal. So I do need to be careful and see what I'm doing. I make sure this stays pretty damp and I shave downward like so. So let's go ahead and just, let me just show you how I do it. We be shaving. We be shaving. You probably can't even tell, but there's a few little hairs on here. There's actually a lot of peach fuzz on here. Now we're gonna move on to the other side of my face. Next. The bad baby right here. I don't know what it is, but this mask tends to fix my allergic reactions when I have them. And I decided that today I'm going to be mixing the powder of the mask with some water and some honey because I hear honey is really good for the skin. We're going to go ahead and start brewing this up and applying it to the face. Hello guys, voiceover Aaliyah here. As you can see, I'm starting to create my mask TikTok style with very many satisfying transitions that are unnecessary. And basically the way I know my mask is done and when it looks like a goopy paste and I just take my Sigma clay mask brush and put this all over my face or where I can reach it. This process usually doesn't take long but since my skin is super sensitive to this specific mask I tend to only take about 10 minutes with it because I don't want it to over dry my skin and as I waited for my mask to dry I had a whole freaking dance party and if you're interested you can follow me on Spotify at Aaliyah.underscore the link is always down in the description. The playlist I was bumping to is called Aaliyah's playlist I guess where I literally just put songs 
songs on and take songs off that make me feel great songs that i'm loving make me feel sad make me mad just anything that i'm listening to at the moment i will put on and if i don't listen to it i'll take it off so if you're interested in that make sure you check it out in the description down below i would love to have you on spotify we be teed and no before that person asks i cannot make this playlist on apple music because i take so many songs on and off daily it's just hard to keep up with and i don't want to spend money on something that's not as superior as spotify if you don't have spotify premium by now um you should have got left in 2019 and that's on making good financial decisions to all my students if you're looking for a streaming service that gives you perks spotify actually gives students five dollars a month with hulu this isn't sponsored i'm just telling you so you can save your coin so right now i'm hitting my last song i've reached my 10 minute mark and i'm about to start rinsing off this mask that literally takes forever but it honestly gives me amazing results so let's go ahead and start rinsing off this mask So I am now at the bathroom in my bedroom. I want to do one more face mask before I start because Aztec like Indian clay mask actually smoothed out my allergic reactions. I know you're probably going to be like, you can't do too many face masks at once. I know what my skin can handle. My skin is reacting to an expired product, not mixing them. I do this frequently. Is it the best for my skin? Probably not, but does it work for me? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to be using the Sephora purifying mud mask used to clear and mattify the skin. This isn't sponsored by Sephora, even though I wish it was. Sephora, hit my line. I'd love to advertise for you. I'm actually gonna keep my glasses on because it gives me a good basing for where the allergic reaction is occurring which is about my cheek area and below so like right here and down so I'm just gonna put that on my face very quickly If I was a boy and I had a beard, I would be so freaking cute. I have a pimple right here, so I'm putting one right here. I just have a little bit everywhere because this really fix and dries out my impurities. So now we have to wait until this turns completely gray, which means I'm going to have yet another dance party. Would you like to join? You kind of have no choice. Once again, shamelessly plugging my Spotify. If you don't follow it already, you can screenshot the thing on the screen and scan it in the app. Give me some love for my playlist. We're in the home stretch of me going from looking busted like a bad. I'm about to make the. Well, how that stroke taste? We're gonna do some skincare. Ooh! I'm gonna be taking the Kylie Skin Vanilla Milk Toner with no cotton pad because I don't feel like getting up i really like this toner because it's very lightweight and i feel like for such a good toner it's a decent price check it out if you would like and if you want to know like my regular everyday skincare routine i did a video on it actually you can go check that out if you're curious about what i use on the regular so we're gonna take my bougie glam glow volcasmic matte glow moisturizer and this is going to mix in with the toner and everything is going to be blended in and soaked into my skin this Moisturizers are so nice, but it is expensive. This was sent to me by a company that was canceled. Just know it's a little expensive. Thank you to the company, but all you had to do was add some diverse chicks. You could have still been thriving and I still could have been promoting. It's not that hard. That Sephora mask actually helped my skin even more. Now it feels ultra soft in all directions and places. You can still tell I'm kind of reacting to stuff in person, but you're not in person, so it doesn't freaking matter. Because I want to ruin everything I just did, I'm going to spray some Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender to just calm down my skin a little bit. I do have some little red patches. I don't know if you can see on camera, but I have some because I am human and I have skin problems just like everybody else. All these other YouTubers have like their own personal and customized fans and I'm literally using an extra large <laughs> index card because that's what we can afford in this household, okay? And that's on life savings and being a broke student. Future college student, may I add it that? Can I get a Spartans 2024? I literally just talk because I have a mouth. Who gonna check me? Nobody. Not even the comments because YouTube be disabling them anyway. Before I do my makeup, I want to do my hair because I have been recently loving slickbacks on me again and I feel like every time I have a slickback, I just look 
10 times better on like average day. I don't know what it is. The lashes slick back with the fake nose ring. Combo me is just undefeated. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Now, a lot of you have been asking me, oh my God, I can't even find the way to get this scrunchie out of my head. It's been that long since I've taken my hair down. I was originally gonna wash my hair in this video, but that's a whole other video that I could capitalize off of. So you guys are just gonna have to wait for my wash day routine, okay? I'm gonna have to hold my hair up while I talk because I look ridiculous. First, slick back, you're going to need a water bottle, a smoothing brush, a edges brush, in this, my case, a toothbrush, a do-rag, a rat tooth comb, some curl defining cream, any gel, and then some shining mist. This is a long process. Well, it's really not a long process. It's just the hairstyle is very tedious and it's a slick back and you want it to be all slick, no frizzing back up. So that's why I use so many products on my hair. First things first, when I do it, I always like to part my hair and I usually have to part it on the right side of my head. Not the straightest, but at the end of the day, it's my head, not yours, get over it. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and start spraying down my hair so it's able to be brushed without getting too frizzy. Usually I start to smooth it out as I go through this process. It just makes it easier to do the rest of the head and see what left I have to do. And when I do the side where there's more hair, so like on the left side of my head, I usually like to brush it down in layers because it just makes it simple. So like I'll pick it up, I'll brush under first, and then I'll brush on top. I literally look like Sonic, look at this. I wish I looked like Sonic. <laughs> I'm gonna continue going in with the water, but I'm also going to introduce this Urban Hydration Jamaican Castor and Avocado Coconut Curl Cream. I've noticed that my hair stays slicker for a longer time when I put a product under my gel, so you definitely should try it. If I stop talking, I'm sorry. I'm just really focused because when I do slick back, I feel like I just transform into a whole nother human being that's just like 10 times as cute as I normally am. And that's saying something because I am a decent looking human being. Hello, confidence. We know all about her. A lot of your probably waiting for me to talk about what happened during the breakup and just know I'm not peeping. I'm not giving you details on what, but just know I have been doing just fine. I have gotten past the crying stage. I'm kind of just in the I need to get back into a routine where it's just me stage. So if you're wondering how I'm doing, a lot of people would think that I would be more emotional three weeks after a breakup of a two-year relationship, but you know what? Surprisingly, I'm not. Maybe it's because we still talk as often as we did when we were together. I don't know. Whatever it is, maybe it's just me finally being a good person and taking care of myself for once. I don't know. Whatever it is, let me have my nice things. A lot of people try to tell me what I should and shouldn't be doing during this time. And it's like, girl, it's my emotions, not yours. Back up. You know what I'm saying? I just don't like when people try to tell me what to do and how to cope with my emotions. Unless you're a licensed therapist who has looked into me and my ex-boyfriend's special case, move along. But yeah, that's just the tea on that pretty cold. <laughs> also, another thing I wanted to say was to thank you all the people who are being supportive towards both of us, not just me, but the people who are bashing him for something he didn't even do, for something you have no part in, you can move around. I'm about to go into with this Eco Styler Blue one sport to start laying the hair down. So people on Instagram, and it's not just one, multiple people have been coming towards me in my comments, my DMs, saying, oh, I never liked him from the start. This, that, and the third. You be the main one up under the pictures talking about some couple goals. Move around. Like, can y'all just like let us chill in peace? Like, dang. People are trying to say that. Some of y'all did get me worked up. Not gonna lie, some people did get me worked up. Cause it's like, how are you trying to say these things about a relationship you weren't even in? How does that work? I don't understand how one does that to themselves. Like, once again, I get some people support of us, supported us hell of a and still do, but it's like, y'all don't know Tristan and his mannerisms. People are trying to tell me that he was acting weird videos and it's like, that's literally just him. He's just a very awkward and closed off person. I never put him on camera and when I did, he was always super quiet. When it was time to film, he usually just let me do my thing. And if he felt like he needed to say something good, and he would just let me take over because, you know, my channel, whatever. So, yeah, people were trying to tell me that he was being weird. And I'm like, girl, if he was acting weird, why would I post the video? Goodbye. <laughs> it's like we once again support and appreciate all of the support that we are getting. We do. Because y'all are being, most of y'all are being very sweet. Oh, I have so much hair on my head. Ew. Most of you guys are being really sweet. But the people who are trying to tell me something about somebody that I've known for almost three years. <laughs> 
Silly goose, tricks are for kids. So I'm about to go in with one more really thin layer of gel all over my head and especially the problem areas, AKA the back of my hair because when you have curly hair, it's hard to find the right products that will make your hair not wave up. And I feel like this gel is one of those things that just do it for me. So I especially put this in my problem areas and I will brush it one more time. on let's go ahead and move into makeup i'm gonna go in with the fenty beauty soft matte foundation whatever it's called is it soft matte probably not should i get the name right yeah i've had this foundation for like ever since it came out i feel like i deserve like this mini self-care day because i started filming this video at like 1 p.m and it's about to be like 5 and i've literally just been like jumping around and dancing and feeling free you know texting friends rekindling old friendships and i just i feel like this time Part if we do end up getting back together if we don't either way this time apart was beneficial because I'm learning how to like function again But yeah, I feel like this little self-reflection. I feel like I've been doing a lot better I may not feel emotions right now, but in my life update video that I uploaded last week I said I was struggling with feeling with emotions and a lot of people in the comments were like Aaliyah get a therapist I may need the emotional help and support professional a lot of people because in my last video I was saying how I felt like emotionally. I just wasn't there and like I just was numb to everything and a lot of people were saying yeah Well, you're probably pregnant and I was like, um, well, no, no no, no babies. I just, I don't know. And a lot of people are saying, well, you probably just need therapy and people go through a lot of things. Typically just become numb to everything instead of dealing with their demons and dealing with their emotions. They just become numb to everything. I think is what is happening. And the people who said that recommended therapy. Thank you for telling me that because now I might start going. I have to find the right therapist because y'all not about to take my insurance money to be trash. Who knew a breakup would be the thing to trigger me to actually act my age and start taking upon demons on my own like who who would have thought look at this grow next thing i'm gonna do is go in with the ColourPop no filter concealer in the shade light 10 and then i'm gonna blend it in with a brush i'm going to be using the sigma Sigma? This Sigma F79 brush because this is really good for blending out concealer and it's one of my favorite brushes to blend out concealer because it's just so flawless. It's not streaky. The whole nine, it's just overall a really good brush. We're going in on the other eyes, the forehead, the nose bridge, and the chin, and a little bit on the jaw. Just, you know, to lighten up these areas of the face. Now that everything is set into my skin, so my foundation, my concealer, I am going to bake the face. <laughs> I'm going to be going in with this Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 10 Fair Light. If you can't tell by now, I'm a little pasty, but wait till I get this contour on, girl, you're not gonna know who I am. I'm just gonna be taking this damp beauty sponge from I think Real Techniques or Morphe, one of them. I know it's not Beauty Blender because these were not expensive i'm going to move on to contour i'm going to be taking the maybelline super stay contour stick in the shade i don't know oh shade 130 buff beige i tend to drag my contour very far up my face because i notice that sometimes it gets lost in the powder and stuff so i feel like it's okay if it's a little you know far out there and i also take some up under the chin i usually do my nose but right now there's powder all over it and i don't feel like dealing with that right now so i'm going to be blending with this sigma large angle contour the f40 brush and the same sponge as before except you know the opposite end just depending on what i feel like is needed i usually use both so let's go ahead and start blending out this contour officially blended out all my contour so I'm going to go ahead and take off my under eye and chin and oily spot and put some baking powder under my contour areas just to you know fix up the area and I still have some excess on here and I would use that but sadly it's not enough so I'm just gonna go ahead with some more fit me keep it very clean 
Oh, look, I got to smoke some crack. I contour my nose also because I'm not the biggest fan of my nose shape. I just go on very lightly with this cream contour stick on the sides and under my nose. And I don't really like my nose shape. A lot of people do, but I just, it's just not my cup of tea. It's just, I just don't like it. Am I an MUA? No. Well, no. I feel like I already look like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not doing much with eyes because I, one, don't feel like it, and two, that's a waste because I'm literally going to Target and then filming. There's no reason for me to do a full beat, so I'm just gonna be doing this ColourPop Press Face Powder in the shade Bronzer. It's literally a bronzer. I'm putting it in my crease. I feel like I'm getting cuter and cuter by the second. Okay, now it is time for my favorite part, highlighter. Y'all know I love me a good highlight. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this ColourPop Super Shock Cheek in the shade of Lunch Money, which is my favorite highlighter of all time if you ever wanna send it to me in my P.O. Box, which is always. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on my nose, you know, keep it cute, keep it light, keep it simple. A little bit goes a long way with this highlighter, so I don't wanna do too much, but just enough to get people's heads to be like, damn, you're kinda glowing, you know what I'm saying? So we're reaching the end of this video, and I just wanna let you guys know, makeups are okay, something usually happens has to die in order for things to grow which is something i have learned in the past almost three weeks and you know what just because it's labeled as dead doesn't mean it's completely gone i feel like the way i'm coping with things is appropriate and if it's not unless you're a certified therapist or a couples counselor shut your yaps thank you very much it never hurts to take time for yourself you always have to be who you feel like you are in the moment and you have to do things for yourself and it never hurts to take time to do things for yourself taking time for yourself is very important to make sure you don't lose who you are and lose where you came from and like lose your purpose or sight in life. I am refining myself and recentering myself because I feel like I definitely did lose myself at some point. Breakup is probably just a sign that a lot of good things are coming for me and my ex as individuals because we're both, or I feel like we are both great people. I'm about to do my lashes because I did get some new lashes in the mail. I reordered my favorite lash of all time, these Eyler London Wispy Light Lashes. They come in threes, but today I'm using these new Eyler Lashers. Lashers? These Eyler Lashes from the Jordan Woods collection. Collection. These are, yup, yeah, this is what they look like. We're using these. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and go and put on these lashes and I'll come back to you in a little bit. I am back like literally 15 minutes later. These lashes were not having it with me, but we're about to do a final little reveal. Let's go ahead, remove the dewy. Oh, my ears are smushed. Whoopsies. Add a little lip gloss to it. Here is final look. <laughs> of my little mini glow up slash mini transformation. I am about to go snap up some pictures by my window because I just feel cute. You know, the slick back with the lashes, with the natural brow, with the lip gloss, the skin is feeling clear. The baby blue on my skin is just making it really pop. It's just giving me very, I am ready to take on the world with or without a boy. That's just what I'm giving myself right now. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed my kind of glow up transformation, like how you can glow up on a budget. Cause everybody deserves a good little good transformation if you're just getting into a relationship i hope nothing but the best if you're just getting out of one i hope nothing but the best i hope growth no matter where you are on that spectrum if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you haven't already to join the bean fam let's get to whatever goal you want to get me to let's just keep growing okay make sure you follow me on social media that includes my instagram twitter and tiktok so you can keep up with me when i'm not on camera and see my daily content creations and my unwanted and unsolicited unpopular opinions but guys that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope to see See you on the next one. Stay cool, stay strong, love you the most. See you in the next one.